And now it's time for some more Super Defor Mobile Suit Gundam Gundam Generation Gundam Genesis. Yes. Alright, it has been a little while. The team composition has changed up a little bit, and we're still in the one year war. Now, let's see. They have to play a few missions ahead. The last list off Tragedy had struck at Jaburo. Other people have missions around there. In fact, actually, I can bring it up. Unfortunately, this isn't quite timeline. This is mainly just to say, hey, these use the same sort of map area. Because it'll even bring areas from the future. For example, this one is probably reserved for Zeta Gundam's Jaburo raid. So. Hmm. Let's hit up the Jaburo invasion plan from the Zeon side. Let's get back to the Midnight Fenrir. Yeah, black tri stars are wiped out. Off screen. We didn't even get to fight them in this game. Yeah, they gave Makuve an out, and he fucking took it. Nimmungashuriosatoki. Sen マクベタイサの脱出は yeah, pretty much all of the Xeon brass is gone now. Back up in the space. Yeah,プレマチョルヴィズイオンブラスイズゴーンナウ。バックアップインスペース。ヒタンに暮れていたフェンリル隊にAlright, two more Zaku fodder. We will have benefit of a couple of doms. Doubt it though. Their theme is being under-equipped.
Which one? Are you all fucking petty officers? That seems to be the way it's going. Anyway, moving on. And also those two ships full of random people we've never met before. They generally did all the heavy lifting. until you get his name right. Did you ever play XCOM, son? It's important to research. In fact, I shouldn't have even brought it up. Why the fuck did you?
really not that simple. Yeah, pretty reasonable. Unless you guys have a special objective you need to meet, this will not matter.
Hmm, she's Madame Funf. Ah, good. You guys can take a break. Anyway, we've got the fucking white base. That took a while to get. Bright's gun crew are shit. It takes a lot of work to make them hit anything and fill the get bar. But now we can arrive in style. Uh, okay, so we just got to focus on the GMs. There are nine GMs. Maybe I can't kill more than ten. What the fuck, game? Eh, I can get that free other means. Shit, a basic ass dom. Yeah, you fuckers can sit back and relax. A little swapping around to try and degun them the team a bit. Nice. Well, you was a good pilot, not so sure in his theme here. Thunderclap. Because of the unit limit, I can't actually kill anything. I've got to save it all for gyms. Let's see, can they get in range? Eh, he'd be out of range. Alright. Done some shuffling with the Xeon team here as well. Including picking up a few extra pilots. Go for a burger boy.
For some reason, the FZ works like a dom in this game. Kind of weird. Let's take a look at Florence's new crazy weapon. It's Vizigok. It's... I don't know who thought this was a good idea of design. It says the Gok stuck to a fucking... flying orbital cannon. Well, we know this is how GMs die. Alright, most of the initial push was good. Bit of a sp bit of a failing on the Z on the Zeon side. Just gotta grit the teeth and bear this. Huh, I didn't spot those guys. Okay. Okay, so it goes back a lot further than I thought. Alright. Still simple enough. Still gotta focus entirely on them, though. If I kill anything else, it's going to reduce the objective and make it impossible. So, let's see, who needs some level ups here?
for a change of pace, put Bork back in his original pixie. The Reaver one was getting pretty damn strong. Hoping I could take it out with a cannon and start to slaughter, but nope, not to be yet. Just one more GN to go, and then we can actually hit other things, which would be nice. Yeah, it turns out these specified kill objectives are really shitty. A later mission will make me have to kill about 10, 12 dudes with one unit. What does that mean? That means all your other units have to fucking sit idly by and wait until he's done. That's fucking tedious. Alright, now can I wipe out everything? That would be very nice. And who do we have for a capture? A pair of mini trays, a big tray, and a squad of GMs. Hmm. Yeah, it's not as if you guys are doing the fighting.
we just went over that in the briefing. Strangely, they ignored, ignored all the tanks and turrets. We don't know why. Well, it means nothing, but it's a wild guess. Which one? That's okay, the cannons don't work on this version, for some reason. Even if you take cooling stuff into account, why are the cannons disabled? Especially when they emphasize it here. The incomplete doesn't have cannons. As an attack. the Federation. You've been fighting the Federation. Hmm? Did I hear noise? How you doing, bud? Ah, hey, Fahrenheit. So I've been watching for like the last ten minutes. You've blown up exactly one Gundam. Well, I've blown up... Hey, Fahrenheit. I had to blow up hey, several GMs. Ah, uh, no. I only came in and saw one get stabbed and then this... all of this monologuing. Yeah, well, this is plot. And it's in English for a change. This is the first GGN in English. Downside is, they're wordy bastards. Yeah, they are. Holy shit. This will be reams and reams of manga. This will be terrible pages wasted. At least we get the all good face now and again. All right, bunch hey, Lamb, tank. let's scoot up so we don't bug him. What? Let's scoot up so we don't bug him. Yeah, get the fuck okay. out. Play some also. I just wanted to say hi. Well, hi. Now me? fuck off. Go play with your dog. Later on. I'm going to. Good. I 
fucking interlopers. Holy shit! Wow. You know, some of the white based well, some of the Pegasus class designs vary a bit. The fur bread looks like it's been eating its fucking Weetabix. Yeah, but they're still completely shit. Kai and Hayato somehow survive the entire war despite jobbing it the whole way. Okay, they try to explain it. Yeah, beam rifle would destroy the fuck. Wow. What is with the Furbred's design? That is odd. It's way too big a wingspan. For something that doesn't need aerodynamics to fly, that's a massive fucking wingspan. What the hell? in a dom. Giant rocket launcher is pricey on the energy bar. Maybe worth some money. This could be some tight timing. But let's get another look. Jesus. Oh, it's the Blanc Raval. Okay, it's not the Furbred. Yeah, the Blanc doesn't really show up in anything. Okay, then. Maybe it'll be a nice little bonus. This is probably its only appearance. Also, hey, King. Well, that's fucking great. Yeah, why shave turns off our actions here? And why dodge? I mean, really. They're gonna need support for us here. They are too shit to handle it. Oh, 
悪くはないが残念だったな It's a finger gun that does all of the damage. Let's see, I might be able to use these guys. Bit of a jump. Good. Needs to be sent down there. I really hope these fuckers don't go down with me. That would be hell. Alright, they've got some support at least. Uh, maybe we should send the original as well, but his movement is kind of terrible. But could distract those fucking hev uh, gun cannons. Strong advance, the second team can hang around and slaughter the tanks and gun tanks around them. Hopefully there's enough of a distraction for the mass-produced gun cannons. Downside Bork isn't a team leader, so he doesn't have any energy regen. Oh, 
この私に歯向かうつもりかね何成功すれば容赦はしないBust out this crazy fucking thing again to show that for its for a civil beam attack, it uses the Zagok's normal arm. It's so big and yet it's so blatantly cobbled together. It's an odd unit. Yeah, she's still a dedicated mobile armor pilot. It just fits with what she does and her personality. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Alright, what does that even do? Yep, extra 10% just on hitting Gundams. Burn a lot of the energy bar, but Bork will need the help. Hmm. Great unit. The assault gun tank does so much good work.
All right, good. That's the tanks cleared up. For the Xeon team, I don't have good stats for. Ugh. That's gonna be a push. To kill this thing in six turns. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna need to put some more units down there. They don't have a chance. Anywhere near enough dudes down here, and they're sending more in. And fucking dodge! Come on! We're gonna get ripped apart. those to get boosting final steps. Is this where the real Biggie Zams lives? Damn right. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. This is a fucking nightmare of a deployment. Wait. Hmm? Why? Why is there a star next to your name? Because I'm a fucking star. 
Okay, but the star means you're a subscriber, so are you subscribing to your own channel? Well, I'm guessing you're a subscriber by default to yourself. That would make sense. You say that. But you'd get your subscriber benefits for your own channel. Because, yeah, I didn't click anything. Fair. Hey. Hey. So, I introduced our intern today to 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. <laughs> Yeah, it's a fun game. I own it. Come on, get more attention. And how did that go, Keen? He was amazed. Good. Um, he said it was one of the most beautiful things he had ever seen. One of my coworkers has this really odd obsession with Chernobyl, so I informed her that you can actually go on a tour of Chernobyl and Pripyat. And she got really excited. And I'm not really sure how to feel about the fact that she got that excited about Chernobyl. Well, it's a cool place. I also found out that one of our customers makes small-scale nuclear reactors. Oh, how fun. small? Small enough to be transported by truck. Yeah, it's pretty small. Yeah. All right, let's let's get the robot suit to install them. When when I say truck, I mean semi truck. Yeah. Like I didn't like, say normal size. Yeah, I wasn't picturing suit. a Ute. True. True. Shit team doesn't have any energy restore on their skills. That's something I'll have to remember for next time. Alright. Oh yeah, where's the boss one? There we go. He's the injured one. Good. How much money do I have in my bank account until, like, 11 p.m. tonight? What are you considering? The Rise of the Tomb Raider. What? I would. I'm considering buying Rise of the Tomb Raider. I own it. It's... You see, it's a pretty okay game. It's just all the plot stuff it's is on very sale. boring. It's on sale because Steam... Yeah, it's also... It also doesn't really have the same sort of fun that the first game had. Like, it not have made yeah. sense why it was all a desperation thing and putting stuff together. This, <laughs> not so much. I'm wondering if I want to buy anything on the Steam Catalog right now. I want to buy too many things on the Steam Catalog right now. Get the 8-Bit Army Collection. I mean, it's kind of, they look neat and fun, but it's also, am I going to play them? I mean, obviously not, but still buy them. I could finally get around to buying Shadow of Mordor just in time for Shadow of War to come out. <laughs> That's true. Ooh, Space Engineers, just 10 bucks. Ooh. That's a good game. Oh, good. Fireworks have started. It's not even July yet. <laughs> Oh man, I bet there's a way to rig up a Gundam as space engineers. Oh, I'm sure. It would probably break apart. A lot of collision. Dare to dream, Corvus. Dare to dream. Maybe if I can get Shin down there, things would work okay. It's not going to get any bonus moves, though. I mean, at the very least, I could build the white base. It's weird that the white base, they favored it a lot. It has great stack growth. It's also got, like, I've got another Pegasus class, I've got the Grey Phantom. It has less attacks than the white base. I don't know why. I don't want to, I don't want to buy Skyrim Special Edition. But man, the Blank Reval, that's fucking swole looking. 
Yeah. Well, that's the current ship I'm trying to shoot. What's it from? It's from Zionic this. Front? It's from Zionic Front. Steam is telling me I should buy Popka. Don't. It's also telling me I should buy Planet Coaster, and I really think I should do that. Stop sending fuckers down the tube. It looks like it's rated very highly on Steam. Everything's rated very highly on Steam. Except for GTA okay, 5, but, we fixed that. Okay, but Planet Coaster has 11,000 reviews and is still very positive. 89% of the reviews for it. Shouldn't have smashed that. Should have waited till our turn. Oh well. Shut up! I don't want to play Mabinogi. I did that years ago. Damn it, Bork! You're too good. Stop killing everything, Bork. I do need to buy Dishonored 2 at some point. Okay, good. That's the gun cannons dealt with. Free money. Four turns left. That is not a lot of time at all. Bork, why can't you recharge some energy? Because fuck you. That's that's probably why. The game doesn't like it. Oh, it's the Mad Rock. That's fine. The Mad Rock is not a threat right now. The time limit is the threat. Especially since Gar fucking hell. Oh. Fuck's sake, he's wrecked himself. Good job, Nikki. I really needed him to actually do something for a change. But Midnight Furnier are completely fucking jobbing it. And yeah. they're the ones who were meant to take this thing down. What the hell? No. Steve, I don't want to buy the Elder Scrolls Online. No, one square of movement. Hey Corvus, I know how you can get more bits. From you, mainly. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, there's a game on Steam called Project Bits. Ah. What? It came up in my queue. I, um, I may have gone past it before reading what it's actually about, because I was pushing the button too fast. Just like ninety percent, like ninety percent of my queue is garbage. That sounds like most Steam queues. Yeah. Remember when Steam had actual quality control? They never did. They kind of did, like they really didn't. There was a shitload of games they'd put up that would not run on modern computers, and they didn't care. Nor did they offer a refund in those days. Why would they care? So they just have non-working games on there. Would you say Rise of the Tomb Raider is worth $24? No. I got it for less. Probably not. Special edition and all. Yeah? Yeah. I got it for about 10 or 12 quid. With all that, the d that's with every... Oh. Yeah, with everything. Oh. It's, it's not that good. Like, it's a good game, it's just, it's dull. 
character-wise and shit. Mm -hmm. And the environments aren't as aren't as interesting as they were in the first game. I wonder if a gog can go down the hatch. It should be able to. It's a gog. It's wonderful. No, the gaw. Oh. Um, probably not. So apparently KFC ballooned a sandwich into space. What? They they took a sandwich. They they, they put it in a compartment. They strapped like one of those high grade balloons to it, and they just let it float up into a uh, low Earth orbit. Yeah, it's nothing weird. What? They've already done that okay. with pork pie and shit. It's for, just for the sake of, you know, advertising. Yeah. I mean, I'm really disappointed that they don't have an actual rocket. They just want the lame balloon. It's just an upturned bargain bucket. That's rocket shaped enough. Alright. Mm -hmm. Trey still needs to be shot up. Oh, nice. Yeah, this looks achievable now. It wouldn't have been if I hadn't put extra pilots down. Fucking hell, friend rear. <laughs> Worthless fuckers. Oh, bases can go. Well, carriers can use the hatch. Nice. Oh. Actually, one shot it. Okay. Never did big trick. Oh god, that's right. I forgot that they had movies on Steam now. Yeah, Just for some reason. Why? I don't know. Oh, it's Chris. Hey, Chris. Uh, yeah, I decided to get a Pegasus class early, and to do that, you just have to beat War in the pocket. Hmm. Downside, the Grey Phantom is pretty terrible compared to all the others. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're not using White Base? It's Grey Phantom? No, I am using White Base. Like I said, I bought the Grey Phantom. It's terrible. So then I just had to put in the time and effort to raise up Bright's Get Gauge. Which took a while because he can't hit anything for shit. Well, Luckily, I've got a proper ship. Luckily I now have a proper crew on the ship, so it's fine. He's now properly dangerous. God 
Steam is telling me I should buy TIS 100. <coughs> Zachtronics! Let's see how much of a hole I can rip in the Mad Rock. Oh, yeah. If only I could use skills after moving. Yikes. it up. Excellent. Alright, the blank Reval is dead. I could get Dragon's Dark, uh, Dogma Dark Arisen, despite the fact that I have Dragon's Dogma for PS3. Well, I mean, Dark Arisen adds more to it. True. Or you could just wait for a PS4 version. I don't have a PS4. Get a PS4, then wait for it. I mean, come on, there's Gundam games on the PS4. But the PS4 is expensive. That, so, I was... Uh, I walked past a customer today, and he was sitting in his cage playing Dragon Quest VIII on his computer. Fair enough. I mean, you can play it in the 3DS now. Yeah. I just want to find out. I was like, huh. Okay. What, did you think you're the only one who goofs off at your job? I, no, I was just surprised that that's what he was playing. Goofing off at my job is how I have waiver. Oh shit, I forgot to log in yesterday, or er, before the reset. Damn it. Alright. Two new mid right midnight fin rear pilots. Oh shit, you 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 missed uh you missed Lancer XP day. Ah oh, shit. It was a busy day at work. Days are much busier than nights. Dragon's Dark to handle. Dragon's Dogma for twelve bucks. Seems like a pretty decent price. It is. I think of the modding you can do. Oh god, it has mods. Pretty sure one the first thing that happened was a performance mod, just like Dark Souls. <laughs> like all unofficial stuff, which means it works. Yeah. I also need to actually get caught up in Final Fantasy. So far behind. Same. But at the same time, I'm having fun doing other things that aren't Final Fantasy. Alrighty, so... Oh, I forgot the 
even check. What will the Gog lead to? Or the Zok? Ah, it can lead to the Kapool. And one of the it's MSVs. It's a good point, but you can punch a robot soon. Don't you want to punch a robot? Yeah. Gotta buy a replacement but, Gog. But also, like, I don't really want to play Final Fantasy XIV right now. Yeah, don't. What I do kind of want to do is work on my ideas for the Star Wars game I had at Idea 4. Alright, next stage will not be that, that's in December. I think it's time for Jaburo stage re stained red. Yeah. It's time to check back on the slave wraith team. Hmm. It's gonna be a little sad that once we get past all the one year war stuff, it's just a straight line. No more side story stuff to diverge and find out what else is going on at this moment. Yeah. Maybe we'll be lucky, maybe stages will unlock, but I doubt that. That seems a shame. Like, Zeta Gundam in particular should lend itself to a bunch of side stories. Yeah, there should have been advance of Zeta and Sentinel. Where we can we can control the worst pilot, who is entirely saved by his AI in the in the suit. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's plenty of MSV suits, there's plenty of weird side story suits to unlock, but they have no purpose in the plot. Plus, I getting to see Missing Link and Record of 81 in English. Yusuna あたじの悪い任務だった。連邦軍が腐り切っているのは元からだし、人が死ぬのも慣れてる。ボマーに味方を撃つのは初めてかと聞かれたが、その時は答えなかったけど、味方を撃つのはあれが初めてじゃない。
We're actually a little bit back in time right now. Yeah. Yeah, this is just before Operation Odessa. And yeah, Reber here has finally gotten the pixie. Borks pixie. You're an unfit man to use that machine. <laughs> Your name is much too sensible. It's also weird they specifically choose that one. When they put in the background, hey, there were three of these units knocking about. Nothing's been done with units two and three. Only Borks. This is not a fun mission. Because we're entirely reliant on dodging stuff. Well, that doesn't sound fun. It's also funny we're getting these object these odd objectives in their missions, because in the game, about one of their missions is different, where you don't kill all the enemies. You leave one alive for a bit, then you kill them. That's their mission variety. should have after all that spawning is that our units get deployed. This does not happen. That's for the next part of the mission. So we have two units who can do damage. That's not much.
悪いがこれも立派なお仕事なんでね All right. How to use Ripper to tear up so much stuff. I'm hoping I can eliminate the enemies in the way so we can full move the Medea each turn. Otherwise, it will not reach. As far as you can move. <laughs> Please fucking dodge, that would be nice. No. Really don't have that much health on hand. They think that they're super robot pilots. They're not. Even code you could dodge. I mean, technically? So I've really been looking forward to this beer. It's called Space Dust. <clears throat> that sounds like another Portland beer. Oh, let's see. Is it done by? So, you can see your power. If you say rogue, I'm just I'm unfriending you. Elysium Brewing Company, Seattle. Oh. Fort Collins, Colorado. Okay. Elysium is pretty cool. I mean I had to pick this up just for the name. Yeah. Uh don't don't buy a beer made by Rogue. Rogue? Okay. They're a bad company of bad people. You know, as dumb as the Exia is, the the kit was pretty good to build. It was a good build. Fair enough. I haven't touched any of the gunplay. I've still got the build yet. All right. Uh, who's next? I can't wait for Setsuna to interact with. Mika in a uh, Super Robot Wars. 
I am Gundam. No, no, you're not. Let me show you what it means to be a Gundam. He would just ignore him and walk off. <laughs> That's true. Setsuna would or try to would be really him. intense and dramatic, and Mika would just walk off. Because Orca or he didn't would tell him to do anything him. to him. Or Orga would tell him to shoot him in the face. For being stupid. For fuck's sake, dodge. I need to kill a lot of units. I can't afford to do defense. Maybe. You know, I think the best part about a Super Robot Wars with Iron-Blooded Orphans is it would probably bring back Biscuit. Yeah. Biscuit was the best. I'm sorry, Biscuit? Biscuit, biscuit. Griffin. What? He was the second in command for Tekadon. You, you watched season one, right? No, no, I haven't. You should watch well, Iron Blooded Orphans. just Blood been spoiled. <laughs> There's a character called Biscuit. Yes. Yeah. I mean, Yigmir's already told me that there's a body count befitting Tomino for it. Aren't his sisters also named after bakery things or pastries? Um, yes. His sisters are... His twin sisters... The sisters are twins. They're not twins with him. Uh, are named Cookie and Cracker. Wow, that's that's awful. Oh, fucking dodge. No. It's there not will helpful be no when you answer. I'm pretty sure it's helpful. Alright, draw out Doug. Now do I review Oncoming Storm? Because there's nothing else I can do. Uh, so, the AMD thread has determined that AMD's marketing team is actually a D&D or Shadowrun group based on the names that the processors have been given so far. Fuck, got... fuck, unlike Advanced Wars, planes actually matter. What? Planes are important. Don't lie to me. No, as in, the fact that they're flying is important for movement. They can uh, actually oh, move past okay. units on the ground. They can't be blocked by a submarine, for example. Like in Advanced <laughs> Wars. I loved how stupid that was.
Doggo boy. Their parents did have their priorities in order, Kaitol. They named their kids very silly things. Or they were just starving and so they named them after food because they were starving. That way, when they were going to eat them later, they wouldn't feel as bad about it. Well, until we say, hey, chop off a leg of cookie bear. D don't worry. It's fine. Your sister is fine. Trust him to dodge anything. Reaver is kind of the worst. Key and I want you to know that the fate or the the fate go thread moves too fast. God, you think that's crazy? I've got to try to keep up with moderating the Discord. I know. Like, thankfully, people behave themselves so far, but I know it's only a matter of time before somebody goes full pedo. Just, just wait. You you created an art appreciation station channel. You I know what's gonna happen. Come on, guys. I keep that talk out of Gundam. I created to sequester the cancer. Fair. The only pedo is Char. Just like how I created the anime Death Trap Warehouse. Except that doesn't spell ADTRW. I mean, there, there's an A, there's a D, there's a T, there's an R, there's a W in there. It's close enough. <laughs> there goes Vincent. Just the scrubs left. <sighs> That's a lot of hits this team has taken. Thankfully, we just managed to nose across the finish line. Hey, Keen, you know, there is technically a PC Gundam game. Well, there was. There and was SD Gundam Capsule Fighter Online. Well, there's there's even one you can play online, currently. It just requires some finagling with VPNs. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. Mobile Suit Gundam Online. It's basically MechWarrior Online, but Gundams. Probably the same as Battle Operation. Yeah. I mean, if it was like the older version, that'd be fun. Operation Exceed is uh, awful. Also entirely in Japanese, so you can't read a damn thing. Yeah, that's not as big an issue. True. They like to use pictures. Yeah. And it's pretty easy to start internalizing the names and symbols of these things. Yeah. So, the weirdest thing about the XCA kit is it has two knee joints. 
That's pretty standard, isn't it? With one piece in between the two. Normally it's pretty standard, but the way they did it this time is weird. Because normally it's like a little piece. It would be, you know, about the size of a kneecap. This time, it's that entire giant piece with the circle on it. With the weird, like, circle-y, light-up, glowy bit. And so it... It just kind of looks weird when you bend its knee. Still bugs me when I bought the, uh... I bought an HG gun cannon. A few days later, out came the revival kit. It's all improved and looks nicer. You should get the uh, gun tank, the origin version. Eh, I'd get an assault gun tank. That looks like a f that would be a fun kit, but it doesn't exist. There's quite a few I'd like. I'm still waiting for an updated S uh, sniper custom. That'd be nice. That's never gonna happen. It'll happen. The ground GM I just happened. The sniper custom will happen. I just want you to know, the more you want a weird, like, niche thing to happen, the less likely it's gonna happen. Nope. Because I wanted a ground huh. GM kit and that happened. That's fair. Gun Tank Origin is incredibly squat. It is. Also costs money in this game. It is one of the paid DLCs. What? You get the gun tank and Char's early Zaku 2. What? Yeah. For about uh, Singapore buck fifty. <laughs> the confusing How thing is, is that Halfway's flashback is ten bucks. But Hathaway's flashback is so bad. It also used to be included in previous GGN titles. I don't know why it's something you pay for this time. Probably because enough people didn't even want it. Because Hathaway is bad. Uh, let's see, what else was there? Like, not even just in a piloting sense, he's just a bad character. Yep. But then Super Bowl Wars Voyage fixed him. By just making him very depressed. But not a terrorist, and not a team-killing arsehole. But that's like what half of Gundam is about. And they didn't even, and they had the sense they didn't even fix his relationship with Bright. But it's still but really awkward of, between them. But most of Gundam is about being a terrorist and a team killing asshole. Not the one year war. That had lots of good guys. On both yeah, sides. Yeah, like Char. Well, Char did help the war effort. He did. Because he kept killing people on his side. I mean, he only killed two of them. Possibly fair. I can't remember if Makuve. And, and uh, Dozel. Dozel is absolutely a good guy. Well, not quite. Dude was on a massive power trip as he slaughtered Federation soldiers. He was, I mean, yeah, he but was a guy he... who was very happy making war instead of ever having peace. But, yeah, but all he really wanted was to pilot the big Zan. Once it's mass produced, etc., etc. <laughs> to be fair, he if... wanted Doms instead of a big Zan. He just wanted lots of yeah. numbers. Yeah. Um, also, to be fair, uh, at least going by Aguirre's Green Games, if you mass produce the big Zan, you just kind of steamroll everything. Wait until you see Team C. <laughs> I have a third carrier equipped and all. Yeah. We'll see that once we get the space. Is is it the big Zam carrier? Anyway, back to the plot here. <laughs> I take that as a yes.
There we go. I always thought they looked alike, but I didn't know the reason. Now you know. Yep. I don't even know why he's in this group of shitty people. Because unlike the others, Travis ha didn't team kill. He wasn't using an assassin or anything. Uh-huh. He just, you know, he dated a space noid. Well, that makes him a traitor, so... Right. I mean... That's how this works, right? Well, it's because he, he wouldn't stop trying to contact them. Okay. When you're in military career and trying to contact people you're said not to contact, that causes issues. Yeah. What, so Slave Wraith is just a uh, penal squad? Everyone sends to death? N sort of. A dude in the Federation called Grave, he's handpicked these guys, along with other teams, from people who surprisingly got orders to do things bad, and then got, pen got penalized for it and arrested. Like in the case of, like in the case of uh, Bomber there, and also Hire. Hire was given an, an official order to bomb a target. Turns out they were Federation soldiers. And then he was up for execution. But then Grave happened to come along. Very convenient to give him a new offer. Hmm. Convenient, that? Yeah. So it's a lot of string pulling. And now we're back to fuck up squad. There's a name. Anna Rose Rosenheim. And Liberio Link. Albert Bell. Guy Helmuth. Guy Helmuth is fine. It'd be weird if he didn't have the H. That's all. Now we time jump after Odessa. Now they're moving on Jaburo. Thug seems like a decent guy. I don't know, it took him this long to finally realize, no, I want my subordinates to live. According to his monologue. So it's got to be said, what a shitty shape for a sub. What are you talking about? That's an amazing shape. Oh yeah? Please, dock in this narrow harbor. Yeah, it's fine. Rotate it 90 degrees. You realize the dock would have to be a bit shallow, right? Now you're scraping along the seabed. 
It's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. And now we look at Reaper's life journal. Mobile数字に載って戦っている間だけはこの穴のことを忘れられる。だから俺は兵士になった。俺がレイスの一員となったのは上官を殺したから上官は俺を憎み、俺に殺意を持っていた。Yeah, that's basically how it went, Pello. No, not the last part. The last part is being used as a personal hit squad for a dude high up in the Federation. Mainly to do things like take out guys who are against Revel. Because Yen Revel's leading to the victory. But also, you know, taking out a lot of guys who are very convenient for Grave to replace with his own dudes. So yeah, Reber's motivation is just as shitty as the character. Oh, I only feel alive in a mobile suit. Big whoop. You and half the other Gundam pilots, baby. I mean, they gave EO Fleming some proper development. He had so many issues, and that's why he liked to be in the mobile suit. <laughs> Season 2 of that is going to be weird. Because we go from the most over-equipped Gundam to some weird stripped-down Aqua thing. With weird knees. At least there will still be freestyle jazz? No idea. Maybe. Fleming's still the main pilot. Maybe next G-Gen we'll get Thunderbolt missions. Kill the cripples. Also, we don't mention a bomber here is now in his new gun cannon. It's a heavy armor prototype. <laughs> Gas mobile suits? No way.
You know, we've been to Jaburo several times. Still not had anything resembling an aquatic mission. <laughs> and now Reaper runs right into the middle. What a smart idea. God damn it, Reaper, you are so stupid. Yes. Calm down, calm down. <laughs> I wonder if we're gonna get to see him get killed in Unicorn. That would be wonderful. Now we can deploy the proper people. Unfortunately, we're probably going to be sitting here for a while. Because the objective can Ripper destroy at least 12 enemies, and the objective to continue the plot is destroy 12 enemies. Hmm. So uh. I can't kill anything until he's killed enough. It's really it's shit. fucking awful. Surprised at least I can help him out a bit. There, take some health off that goof. Now charge in, get some morale. This is a really shitty idea for a mission. Twiddle your fucking thumbs while he does everything. Just... just kill Fred. Just kill him. Let him die. Luckily, my carriers are doing really well right now on Stack Grove. Such a poor idea for an objective. At least it seems to carry through on what he's killed in the previous round. But I'm not sure about that. I'm pretty sure he's killed more than four people in that first half. Yeah, he definitely did, because there was a tomb of Jellotops. At least one Zaku and one Zaku cannon, and then the two mini bosses. Mm -hmm. Maybe they didn't all count? Maybe. Plus, side, only three dudes left, apparently. That's good. So, just gotta kill a little bit of time until then. Hope they don't go for a buffer car. <laughs> but yeah, if you Not kill too sure many works, but sure. If you kill too many enemies, and it'll say, you know, you only got four left while he has to kill five, it'll fail you. Oh. Lovely. So, just gotta tank all this damage until he finishes. Fucking irritation. Like I said, you should just kill him. I need the challenge, I need the quest. <laughs> For one thing, it means money.
I mean, you can always grind the Haro stage. Ah, it's fucking horrible, that stage. It takes too long. Oh, man. There's a dude selling an RGB modded Turbo Duo with Everdrive. Turbo Duo, trying to think of which one that is. And a Frame Meister for it. Why not? We never get the Siva bombing run. Okay, I, I googled this and I'm given the Turbo Graphics 16. Yeah. What? That's what you're referring to? Yeah, the Turbo Duo was one of the later models, I think. I'd love a Turbo Express. That was the full console in handheld. Sort of. It was hugely chunky. I mean, nice as the Turbo Graphics is, it's mainly shooter games. It's mainly arcade shooter games. Yeah. I mean, it has one of the best console ports of our type, at least. But for platforming and whatnot, it's slim pickings, really. Oh, speaking of, is anybody else excited for the uh, Super NES Mini? No. Well, yeah, sure, I linked it. Problem is, it's all been sold out by scalpers. Yeah. Amazon, yeah, Game, important. Nintendo's official store, sold out. Why aren't you excited, Digmer? Because I can play the games on my phone. Yeah, I've got the games on my Wii as well, but I like I like the list because it includes Star Fox 2. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty impressive. It's actually officially released by them, despite the years ah. we've been playing it as ROM. <laughs> also... Because my TV doesn't have HDMI input. Like, my, my only real complaint about the list is they didn't also include Final Fantasy 2 and Mega Man X2. Hey, hey, kid. You know what my TV has, but, but it doesn't have HDMI? That is a DVI port. That sounds like what? a dead port. My TV what? accepts DVI. But not HDMI. Nope. What the hell? It also has rectangular pixels. I think you need a new TV. <laughs> but it's plasma. It bugs me that the cover of the box Is shows it? two controllers for the mini SNES. I doubt it has them. Yeah. It might. It'd be if really you nice sacrifice if it did. like 12. You have to sacrifice 12 children to Nintendo for the second controller, but, but it might. And then they are including Donkey Kong Country kids, as well, I'll which is great. That. <laughs> there we go. That's him fucking done. Let's make absolute sure of that. Yes. Okay, now the real pilots can show up and do stuff. Let's punch something with the Zock. Wait, the Zock has an actual melee attack. Yeah, those big fucking claws work well. A eh, bit of a low damage, sadly. I'm just thinking of in Federation vs. Zeon how the thing had absolutely no animations. Yep, it just slid around. But I mean, that's how the suit is anyway. It's basically a mobile armor. For reduced emphasis on mobile. To be fair, it has four mega particle guns on either side of it. It's also got a weird homing laser from yeah. on top of it as well. Oh yeah, Corvus, you were asking me about the God Gundam when I was building it. Uh, the cockpit is in fact a or the. Uh, yeah, I've seen DeLong. It's his little cruiser. Yeah, it's a little lander, and it comes out, and it goes in. It fits really well. It sticks in tight. I think it's silly that it has the wings still on it, though. Well, no, it had that. 
Oh yeah. The only thing it's really missing is the giant circle that appears when he activates. Uh, really? They didn't include that? Yeah, no, it doesn't have a giant circle to go around the wings. That's weird. I figured yeah. that would have been some translucent plastic. There's nowhere to attach it. Like, they would have had to put holes in the wings or something. Such a complete lack of style in swinging that axe. I'll be back in a couple minutes. Well, you're about hey, to miss what, something cool. Took down the Gundam. Hang on. Uh, okay, a mysterious a stranger's about to show up. Mysterious stranger? Is it... Is he a char? Is it nope. char? Something way cooler. Is it Rambo Raw? He's dead. Oh ho! He's been dead for a long time now. No! Rambo Raw! You forgot how to fight. In the middle of a battle. Oh boy, look at all these kids to kill. Yeah, these guys aren't uh, the, the right. important thing. Them. No, no, these aren't a mysterious stranger. No? These um, are a distraction. Phrasing? What? They aren't a mysterious stranger. This is technically correct. Yeah. I, I, I mean, what they were saying. Oh, oh. Yes. No, something way more important than both of them is showing up. Because I only Leg count ass. I only count Vincent and Doug. The rest are just fucking no names. If you did that, Travis, you wouldn't have a son. <laughs> <laughs> Good reinforcements. I'm sure we will live a long and fulfilling life. The Mysterious Stranger. Yeah. The Pale Rider. I mean, I can get behind a Pale Rider. Despite it actually being Seriously? dark colors. Put that on his suit. Seriously? Yep. Yeah. Got a style. Blue mobile suit. A blue mobile suit, but attacked allies. That seems slightly familiar. Yeah. 
Does that sound like anything you guys know of? <laughs> Perhaps the Indigo Fate? Maybe... No, no, I'm sorry. The Blue Destiny? No, 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 no. <laughs> no? No, it's obviously the Aquamarine Inevitability. Oh, yes, of course. I always forget about that one. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't think I could come up with one, did you? I was honestly expecting Yigmir to come up with a variation also. No. No. The reason I was going to go away for a minute is because I have a bad headache and I was going to go get high. Well, go ahead and do that. Oh. Yeah. Although you may yeah. be having the headache because you're high. No, I have the headache because there's light and sounds. I mean, just bear in mind, Yigmir, your failure there means I'm not buying you a taco when we meet. What? He's not going to pay for your munchies. <laughs> I mean, come on, the Azure Fate? It's so easy. It's sitting right there. It was a long day at work, okay? I had to deal with the customer finding out that his R830 wasn't going to work fully loaded out because the 1600 watt power supply is in it only run at 800 watts on 110 volts. Okay. Which is what we notes. have in America. Well, that's basically nothing. I also had to deal with other dumb stuff, but... Well, no, I'm talking about the reinforcements oh, here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There. Be back in a few... A couple of cigars. Yeah, that's not... On the bright side, possible money. In fact, I'll just send down the team leader. Alright, just had to tinker something out for a second. Let's see now. Alright, time to deploy for proper pixie. The Reaper pixie piloted by the person who missed Reaper. <laughs>
Ah, thank goodness for long... Holy shit. That's a big setup. Yeah, that's a lot of charm. Not surprising, really. She sung the opening. <laughs> oh, makes sense then. Yeah. She's your idol. She was a bonus character. It's the Gundam anime version of the singer of the theme. Because why not? Unfortunately, I can't actually use her as a pilot because her theme is, of course, the vocal intro song, which gets copyright struck. Seems like an oversight. Well, that's how it goes. On the plus side, if I ever get custom emotes, there's one of them. Nice. To remind ourselves, but yes, a giant robot did show up in a black cloak. And it wasn't the Death Scythe. Nor was it the Crossbone. Because with that, it serves a purpose. It's got an anti-beam coat on it. Exactly. Full cloth. The Pale Rider? No. No, no, it also has the ABC cloak. Which is just like a fabric. Oh yeah, Reaper, you can get the fuck out of his fight. Krieg personified in a mobile suit. Just rush forward, cause shit to happen. I really like the comfort. But I'm also a terrible person who likes mono eyes. Yeah, you are a weird person. Next to be wanting those mono eyes in a Gundam, what a freak. I think the Saskide looks really cool, okay? <laughs> it would look cooler if it could use its gun right. That's true, its gun is incredibly stupid. Bit of a shame that the other two suits Johnny Ridden has are both for space. So he's currently stuck in the Zaku. I mean, I could stick him in anything, but it just makes sense to put him in his custom suit. Oh, you have the red comet? No, I have a crimson meteor. Oh, yeah. I, I always get Char's nickname wrong. No, no, he's the red comet, but... And then, what's... Crimson Lightning, that's written in his name. Yeah, Char has the bolt.
Meanwhile, I gave Shin the free because it just made more sense. He gets slightly more melee. It seems wrong to go into a fight without the Ifrit, considering I have all of them. All eight of them? Sadly, no. Made exactly eight of them. As far as I can tell, four of them. Four of them are unaccounted for. We have Doug's custom, we've got the Afrique custom that Nimbus had. We've got Henry Boone's normal. Then we have the Knacked. What about Doug Schneids? I just mentioned his. Oh. Because that gets remodeled. Oh yeah, that's the one that shows up again in Unicorn. Yeah. I can't remember if he ever forced show up in anything else. I know we're not customized. Because we would have had them by now. <laughs> oh, just you wait until they need to make another one year war spinoff. I hope so. It's way more interesting. I mean, that's fair, but also they've kind of shoved a whole lot of shit into one year war. Yep, it's made it completely ridiculous. It's great. The most intense free months in the world. Cause you can't put you can't really put any mobile sits earlier than that, but then they went and did. Including a fucking Gundam. Alright, which one's the leader? Because I need that money. The Haro mission is tedious. Because you gotta pay a lot more attention to, in order to get decent cash rewards. It just takes a long time. Because you have to kill the gold Haros, right? They start off giant, then they split into four, and then they split into right. five golden Haros. Those golden Haros only exist for that turn they appear on. Ugh. So while they only take one hit, you've got to be sure of when you pop them. Finally. Poor Cry, the man who specializes in melee, has learned melee specialization. Good job, Pork. Why not fucking waste him? Okay. 
It amused me that nothing else has used the, uh, the Pixie's Uzi. So many other guns get trotted about in the swap between models. That's not shown up in anything. I mean, Record of 81 has a lot of weird stuff. It doesn't include that. Really? I'm back. Hey, Yggbear. Hey. What'd I miss? Wow, he took a fucking big hit. <laughs> I took a lot of big hits. How's the view from up there? Nothing hurts anymore. He just sees I a lot actually of... can't feel anything. He just sees a lot of green and purple. <laughs> he didn't miss anything, this has just been a normal slaughter. Okay. These filthy Zeeks have no chance against superior mobile. Uh, or Federation mobile suits. And also the Sakura Z. Yeah, and captured Z on suits, of course. I still think it's kind of funny that Zeon had almost won the war before the Federation developed mobile suits. Yep. But then General Revel got away. Yeah. And him being able to say, over oh, exhausted and falling over, and they can't feed all their people. That really got them a lot of ground. Yeah. You could say with the modern Gettysburg address. Mm. You know, I've got a thought. Why do we call it the Civil War? War isn't civil. I mean, as William Tecumseh Sherman taught us, war is hell. Yeah. War, huh? What is it good for? Funding scientific research. That is what it's good for. Yep. James Brown never knew that. Otherwise, he'd have rewritten the song. <laughs> or teaches us all the important things, including how best to burn down the next village. Napalm's really good, but Wily Feet's better. Oh god, I still remember that scene. Do you remember that scene from Spec Ops? Nah, I only yeah. played the demo. Didn't really care for the game. Well, that that's a real shame. I mean, after Binary Domain, it was probably the single best uh, third person shoot of the generation. Yeah. That's discounting a lot of good games. Yeah. I mean, you are a hero. You are a good person. There is no difference between what is right and what is necessary. 
You see, I take issue with it just because of the game. It continually calls you out for being a bad person and making the wrong decisions and being awful. And why do you keep doing this? But it gives you no alternative. Yes, That's it does. It does give you an alternative. Turning I'm off sorry, the but the, you could have stopped That's playing. That's not an alternative for something I paid money for. Fair. That's not an alternative for something I go to for entertainment. I mean, to be fair, all the guns felt really good. Made really good sound effects. To be fair, I was only paraphrasing the actual creator of the game. Well, fuck him for saying that. Because and... other games let you do the bad things, sometimes unwillingly, but they also give you other options. Mm -hmm. I'll have to get back and do a complete run of binary domain. They've got a single segment pad, though. Well, no, I can always switch profiles. Just a bit of a bugger. For some reason, I just can't turn off cloud saving on that. Despite not being online. Yep. It's strange. It's very weird. Have you tried turning it off and back on again? I'm not gonna bother with that. <laughs> no, it's a fucking nightmare of a 360. Fair. Turning that thing off, it might never come back on. Because whenever I, re whenever I migrated to a new console, Included it had to switch the ownership license of games, and then what happened is it took several times of having to download them again and again before it said, Yes, they will work offline now on that console. That's what? weird as fuck. It really doesn't feel like it's properly designed in that respect. I had a 360 and it never did that. I mean, yeah, but it did is you change Microsoft console though? Like I'm saying, I changed to a new 360, but kept my old account. Um, no, I only ever had one. Yeah. I wore my other, my other one out. 360 did have a really shit laser in it. But also the fact that, you know, I played it a lot. Yeah, but it had a shit laser. It also had a lot of other shit parts. It's the noisiest of the consoles. Red Ring of Death, baby. Yeah. I mean, you say that, but the Wii, if you turned on 24-hour connection, would cook itself. I mean... It got extremely hot. It did not feel like a safe heat. It's, it's fine. To be fair, Nintendo expected most people to have exhausted themselves with the motion controls by that point. Yeah. Well, no, it was a setting you'd turn where it would keep on looking for updates online. You know, it would always be online. Always online. 24%. Which included when you turned it off, including the fan. It would always be online. Making heat. Yup. That seems like a bad design decision. It was really bad. Yeah.
Incidentally, it hasn't happened yet, but if any of my units get shot down, I lose that mech. I have to buy it again. Sure. Uh, it's permadeath for mobile suits. That's gross. Goof. Oh, that reminds me of Goof Troop. I have to link it now. <laughs> Fucking love the Goof Troop. So good. They really are. Come on, Ridden. Damn it! Oh, at least he took no damage himself. And because I'm morally obligated to also post it in this chat every time it comes up. God damn it, Gene! <laughs> Please buy me a coke. Fuck off, Vincent. Yeah, why not? Let's see if a guy can kill it. Good shooting. Oh yeah, so the horrors of war and all are very visual. I brought someone special on board to witness them. Oh, For boy. some reason, he's a recruitable character. I could even put him in a mobile suit. <laughs> is it Al? Why? God damn it. <laughs> it is Al! Hello, child soldier. Well, I mean, he said that he wants to get in a mobile suit. Yep, he can touch Fazaku all he wants now. Okay, just two Marcosis fucks to finish off. And then probably one more mission at Jaburo. The downside is, Al has no pilot cut-ins, because there are very few in the game.
I was linked to this also as a suggested video, Yigmir. I forgot how much I love it. Oh yeah, I remember that. Come on, Bernie, you're made of sterner stuff than this. Also, the theme song for Gundam was so doofy. Mobile Warrior Gundamu! Bernie, come on, man. You're better than these guys. Which also reminds me of the other great You know, I'm pretty sure the best part about modern anime is that you get new theme songs all the time. <laughs> what if one Gundam was is a fucking work of art? Yup. Arriving between July 21st and August 11th, Jesus Christ. Japan! Fucking Japan. Japan media mailers. Go die in a fire. Why can't I have my used copy of poor or of double eighty one faster? Yeah. I even got one of the ridiculous suits. At least it was only twelve dollar. Yeah, but you'd expect it a bit quicker. Yeah. Something I found out with Play Asia, if you pay for the cheapest package, it'll arrive a lot much faster. Couriers take a lot of fucking time faffing around. Really? And sometimes they really? try to charge you extra when they arrive. Like, fuck no, I paid delivery. That's it, take it up with them. And once, a great moment, when I bought from Play Asia, I got next day delivery somehow. They must have had it sitting in a warehouse in Europe. Wow. I'm Holy assuming they've shit. got a warehouse in a couple of places. Probably. No, you know, the best is like, I have gotten Amazon next day delivery a handful of times. And it's it's pretty sweet. Yeah, I was meant to get that uh, for Fire Emblem Fates. It did not happen. It was a month later that I got the game. Rip. Probably got stuck in UK Customs. Inconsistent UK Customs. It's weird. Sometimes I've had to pay 50% never... of a game's price. <coughs> In order to get it from the post office. Sometimes it's just shoved through the slot. Huh. Which probably is why depends I, on if they uh, mark it as a gift or purchase. Yeah. Which is why I looked at this game, saw the prices for getting it physically shipped, and figured there's a chance it'll be more expensive than digital. <laughs> what? Because in case the customs charge comes up, I'll have to oh. pay 50% on top of it. 
Yeah. Hello? Hello. Goodbye? Uh, goodbye, whoever. Oh well. I didn't click the button fast enough to know who it was. I like that we both liked the same version of that video, Keen. <laughs> Goof Troop? No, I didn't notice. We linked to the exact same link. Now I'm curious. Know, right? <coughs> hmm. I must have... Okay, so I get it through... I must get a fruit plot. I can't build it. Probably for beating Missing Link, come to think of it. Uh, let's have a look at the Xeon side. Anything worth evolving? Oh, man. I could they make a Zogok before I make a... Hmm? Big Cat Rescue had a kitten party. Big Cat Rescue. Don't you know about Big Cat Rescue? No, I don't. <sighs> Big Cat Rescue is a large cat um, sanctuary and enclosure uh, in Florida. And it's probably one of the best ones. They're super good about how they take care of the animals. Um, they love to fuck always... around with them as well, to keep them interested. A little bit. A little bit. Like, but the cats enjoy boxes. it. Yeah. They did do that. Yeah, that was not... that, that was great. <laughs> Let's find out which cats react to laser pointers. Box. Instant enjoyment. Just, um, just search Big Cat Rescue, Kane. I, I just did. Isn't it amazing? I'm watching the kitten party video right now. Kittens. Alright, there we go. That's finally got the goof custom off a of production list. And let's try Florence and the Absolus for a while. And they were celebrating the 500th foster kitten. That's a lot of cats. wasn't technically around at the time, but fuck it. He can be in the GM custom. I need to level that up. That's, <laughs> the, that's the problem. My Federation team is completely done. Yeah. They're kind of ready to move on to the next generation. I am so upset that we work for Uber and we have still not gotten Uber kittens. That's awful. Also, gross, you work for Uber. Yeah, I'm pretty grossed out by myself. We cannot yet afford the Graf Zeppelin. <laughs> there were... Says there were some the pretty picture. amazing names. Yeah. It says love that the Magellan doesn't have fucking two unit capacity or a big tray. Yeah. Could have a gollop. Uh, let's see, anything. I think I need to put one of these back in the list. Oh, yeah. I completely forgot to add that to the team. So let's see, instead of the free act. I just gotta spot him in here. I'm sure I've got one still. Nope, I don't have a basic. Okay. Well, there goes my cash.
Keen, were you aware that lions really fucking love pumpkins? <laughs> I was not aware of this. Because they do. Big cats in general do. I think we're done with Jaburu. Gasp! That means we're all moving into December. Gross. But who? Who go to December? I mean, it looks like this is be the last mission for Zionic Front, so... Seems like the right Ooh. one to go for. Maybe. Let's fight to the last bang. Uh, also, Keen, they, um, at one point, fed Marmite to tigers to find out if tigers like Marmite. They also, for Thanksgiving, they, they gave him various turkeys. Mm -hmm. Sometimes hidden. Yep. Big Cat Rescue is amazing, and if you have money, you should donate to them. この そして、ついに連邦軍による大規模な反抗作戦が始まる。星1号作戦と呼ばれるこの作戦は地球規模、いや、地球圏規模の大作戦として結構された。Can you really call it an operation when it's that broad of just all our units go fight Zeon in all directions? No, that's not. That's not an operation. Ah, yes, the Federation Space Fleet. That'll survive. <laughs> this Federation has a space fleet. It's just a shitload of Salamis and Magellans. And skis. And Although, hey, so these, ones, these ones are actually refitted for carrying mobile suits. They have clamps <laughs> underneath them. That's it. They're still, they're the suits don't go garbage. inside or anything. They just get attached to them. And they're still worthless in combat against mobile suits. I just wonder if it lists, lists the, the crew detail for just one Salamis. The amount of people on board, how big it is, really, how much resources and how much co costs. And then thinking about how fucking many the Earth Federation make. Way too に
最後の HLV の打ち上げが終了するまで連邦軍の進撃を抑えることができない状態だったそして下された闇夜のフェンリル隊への最後の任務すべての HLV の打ち上げが終了するまで連邦軍の攻撃からそれらを守り抜くこと連邦軍の進撃を抑えることができるのはもはやフェンリル隊しか考えられなかったのだフェンリル隊は空に戻れないいや戻らない闇夜のフェンリル隊は自ら地上に残ることを選んだ牙ある限り。Good point.
Man, nothing really came to the fact that that guy's a sadistic murderer. Who likes to shoot humans with his machine gun. The one on his mobile suit. Please tell me I can deploy my troops at the start of this. I don't want to depend on these fuckers. Yeah, they've been doing a pretty shitty job so far. I mean, I don't expect much. They're just a filthy Zeke squad. Of spineless space noids. Unaccustomed to the weight of gravity. But I imagine they'd do a little bit better being their protagonists. That's a lot of mini trays. Yikes. Oh, thank fuck. The real team deploys. <laughs> Defend all HLVs for five turns. Can you protect all HLVs for five turns? <laughs> <laughs> Seems rather difficult. First things first, you get the fuck out of the way, because you're worthless to me.
敵に乗せられるな確実に仕留めていけ一気に攻めます攻撃開始です今は哲学など語っている暇はない敵の接近を許すなくそ<笑>それがお前の限界というわけだくだらないいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいThis one, this line will be easy to fold. Yeah. Okay, I'm tired. Time for bed. All right, off you go. It, right. It's not even nine o'clock on your side of the world. He's also high as a kite, yeah. though. I'm like really high, and I haven't slept well the past couple nights. I can sympathize with not sleeping well. Yeah. Night. Night, Yugmir. Good night. South will be a bugger.
Huh? You've got a couple of targets to tarp hit the uh, feds beast with for a while. The last a turn or two at least. I think you mean the glorious Federation pilots. The feddies. Note how I have to deploy Federation mobile suits against them, for the Zeke squad is just too feeble. They cannot stand up to the might of the mighty Earth Federation. Oh yeah, look, one of those fuckers is still in the Zaku 1. What's your fucking excuse for still using a Zaku one at this point? Well, you see, if the Zeon were properly organized like the Earth Federation, they'd have proper supply lines. That's a good point. I think I'm gonna mosey off myself. Good luck with this, Chorus. Don't need luck. I've got Federation mobile suits. Anyway, cheerio. And uh, Florence Kirishima. He's goddamn. The ability to always dodge is vital. Even when you're in a ship, that, even when you're in a suit the size of a battleship. Yep. Or bigger. Alright, later. Cheerio. Four turns. Can I hold the line? Fuck, I really needed a hit there. That's unreasonable. He should not be standing. Senjo 
じゃ自分を見失った王が負けるのさ。Oh boy, what an upgrade. The Kel. HLV は必ず空に送り出してやるぜ何か打つ手はないのか That is not enough damage. Let's <laughs> go. 
Yeah, it was probably a bad time to swap the Zeon team on the different machines. すれば容赦はしない。残念。そろそろお別れの時間じゃなくて。くそ。俺を相手に随分と不用心じゃないか。
そちらがその気ならば遠慮しないもらったこちとらお前の相手をしてるほど暇じゃないんでね私にも戦う理由はあるのだから Come on, Bernie, you're in the most responsive version of the of the Zaku. For the one-year war period, anyway. Fucking dodge! Taken down to half health from one fucking hit. Ugh. Fantastic. Can't fucking dodge worth a shit. They're so fucking worthless. <sighs> well, change of plan then. Gotta keep them out of combat completely, cause they're nothing but a detriment. Great job, Midnight Fenrir. You're worthless for this mission. <sighs> Took three fucking hits. Dead. Game over. Great. Ah, well. The sun is coming up. So, I think I'll call the stream here, and then go back to it tomorrow. Ah, oh, they're such a waste of time. <sighs>